Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we uh, have an interview between uh, News Now Patrick, a.k.a. Patrick Roth, and his bestest buddy in the whole wide world, uh, the convicted S-offender, uh, Earl David Warden. And according to Warden, it's uh, all the Tro's fault for uh, him being found guilty of those crimes. Damn you all, Tro's, how dare you do that to him? So while we listen to this idiot complain about the Tro's, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, David, you're live. All right. Finally. So, for everybody that's been waiting to hear from me, uh, I apologize that it's taken so long, but it's, uh, you know, I have to coordinate with Patrick or Justin to, uh, to get the word out. So, uh, let's see, where to begin, where to begin. So, first off, uh, everybody, I, I got some letters. I've already been to TDC. And I was brought back on a bench warrant for uh, for my appeal. And uh, for everybody that wrote me letters, I got several letters from people uh, when I was at TDC, but I could not bring them back with me, so I didn't get to save your addresses. So what I'm going to have you do is Justin is going to take letters into his P.O. box for me, and then wherever I am, Justin will send them to me. Uh, it, and I had, I've had people ask about ordering magazines for me or books. Again, coordinate with Justin on that, Justin Pulliam. Patrick will put a, a link to his email in the description for this video when he gets a minute. Um, so a lot of people are, are asking what went wrong with my trial. You know, we had a hung jury the first night and uh, the next day that changed. So what went wrong was jury tampering. Um, basically, the, the trolls uh, showed up with, uh, you know, that certain lady that's been stalking me for the last four years who's been saying she was going to interfere with the jury. Oh, it's all the trolls' fault, especially Kick. Kick is the reason why the original series of Star Trek was canceled back in the 60s. You didn't know that, did you? And Kick also took away Earl David Warden's sense of personal responsibility, too, so uh, he's just going to blame it on somebody. And the night before the trial, she sent me a text message saying, you know, that she was going to indicate that she was going to tamper with the jury. And uh, the DA fought sequestering the jury, so the jury was actually walked right by her several times, and she had the opportunity to mess with them then. And after, after we let everybody go at night when she was walking back, when they were walking with her car, she had an opportunity to, to, uh, to get to them. I got a question for you. If you truly uh, received that uh, alleged text message, then why the hell did you show it to anybody who could have done something about it, such as your lawyer, the judge, or anybody else? Uh, we, we raised this issue as part of an appeal. And uh, the judge didn't follow the law. He completely, completely ignored the law. This is the exact same pattern of behavior that I see out of a lot of other frauditors as well. Blaming everybody else for uh, their issues and kind of trying to make themselves look like an innocent victim in everything that happens to them. Never mind that they actually go out and antagonize everybody they can clicks and views and calls trouble and break the law and everything like that. I mean, never mind that they do all that. It's everybody else's fault. Hell, it's even the judge's fault that they were convicted. I mean, come on now. And uh, all you want to talk about was my jury, my jury, my jury. Uh, when in fact, my jury has nothing to do with what the law says he has to measure. The, uh, the prong test that he has to use to assess jury tampering. So uh, he failed to do his job, and so now we're on appeal to the Texas Appeals Court. And it takes eight to 12 months to hear back on that. So I've been sitting in the Harris County Jail. That's where I'm at now. I'm waiting to go back to TEC where I will wait to hear uh, on that appeal, which uh, we expect uh, 
uh, uh, will be granted. That will give me a new trial, and this time the jury will be sequestered. Because uh, without jury tampering, we do not believe they can get a, a guilty verdict. I mean, I'll give you one example of something from the trial. Uh, my niece, who I'm not very close to, is very close to this daughter. Uh, my daughter, when asked about her, described her as her best friend, her soulmate, said they have no secrets and that they don't lie to each other. Uh, when I was arrested, that niece asked my daughter, you know, was it true? You know, her allegation is true. And she told her, no, absolutely not. Well, my niece wrote an affidavit and she came and testified. Um, that's just one example. You can get with Justin Pulliam or John Gray. Both of them were present at the trial, and I'm not going to speak for them, but let them tell you what their opinions were based on the testimony they heard. They had no preconceived notions, and they had no no axe to grind in this. So, for, for everyone uh, who, who's watching, if you're wondering, yes, this is David, News Now Houston, News Now Community. So if you have any questions or concerns, I've gotten a lot of comments about, where's David? How's David? What's his status? This is why we got him on the phone, so he can explain to you guys what he's going through, where he's at, and all that. So Yeah, the, the, trolls, the trolls have been saying what they say all along. Oh, you're guilty, you're guilty, you're guilty. You know, well, if I'm so guilty, why not let me have my fair trial? That is all I've asked for. You had your fair trial, and since you were convicted, now you think it was unfair. You think that the jury was tampered with. You think it was the judge's fault. You think it was everybody else's fault. You think it was the troll's fault. Well, dude, uh, I suggest you take, take a look in a mirror and see whose fault is it really because you were convicted. Apparently, there was enough evidence to do so. I've not asked anybody to side with me or sympathize with me. All I asked was that I have an open and fair trial, and I encourage people to come to that trial. Not to tamper with the jury, but just to hear the evidence for themselves. Well, the I jury, the jury was tampered with. We know that. Yes, yes. There's, there, there's no doubt about whether the jury was tampered with. One of the jurors himself has, has admitted that somebody handed him a note, and they, they were tampered with. So, um, you know, I, I've had nothing to hide throughout this. The only thing I have said is, you know, asked of anybody was see the evidence for yourself and let me have a fair trial. Well, the trolls couldn't do that. They couldn't have me, you know, be found not guilty or have a hung jury. That would be unacceptable to them, you know, because that doesn't get me out of the way. You know, the bootlickers got to have their way. Funny how you say the bootlickers have got to have their way, considering every time one of you frauditors enter a building, it's your way or the highway. You make so many demands on everybody. You think that, uh... Everybody in there should bow down and kiss your boots. I mean, lick your boots because you are their master and they are the servants or public servants. And that there is no way that you can be trespassed from any building because it's a public building. Well, that gets proven wrong over and over and over again. So you know what? Just suck it up, Buttercup. You lost. You got convicted. Now you're going to have to deal with Bubba and the boys. And uh, they don't care if they, if they deny a man justice. And the Harris County District Attorney knows that the jury was tampered with and uh, still refuses to allow me to have a new trial. And, and again, in a new trial, the only thing I'm asking is for a fair trial. That's all I've asked for. And uh, the, the DA is, of course, fighting that because they know they can't win a fair trial. As a matter of fact, they before the, the whole thing of the jury tampering came out, when the jury reached a verdict, the DA and the judge had both told my lawyer and said, yeah, this is, this is going to be a not guilty. We're, we know that this is going to be. And when, they, when the jurors came back guilty, I mean, it was silence in the courtroom for 10, 15 seconds. Uh, the judge couldn't believe it, the DA couldn't believe it, we certainly couldn't believe it, you know, but after the fact, we understood what occurred. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not crying about it. Uh, the good news is they, they have put me in a place where a lot of people don't know their rights. 
And so I have the opportunity to educate people about their rights and, uh, Dude, uh, I don't think you're going to be educating anybody on their rights because once they find out what you've done, you're going to have to go into protective custody or uh, pay somebody to be your bodyguard to make sure that the other prisoners don't take you out. That, that's been a very positive thing for me. <laughs> so, so uh, did, did you already go... Being here in Harris County, I'm lucky. I have family and friends that come and see me. And, uh, uh, you know, that's been a positive for me as well. Um, I think the biggest negative that, that has occurred in all of this has been, uh, for, uh, if most of you won't know this, Patrick knows it, and a few other people that are close to me know it, but uh, they sent me to a unit that was basically falling apart. Uh, and they couldn't cook food. In the kitchen, uh, they had they were on the verge of closing the unit down. It was so bad, uh, and then I was brought back on a bench warrant. But I was on that unit five days, and I dropped 15 pounds in five days, and that triggered a cardiac event. Uh, basically, I died. Uh, they were able to revive me, and I spent a week in cardiac intensive care unit there in uh, Abilene. Um, and so now I'm taking heart pills. I've never had any kind of heart condition in my life, but I've always been healthy. But now I'll, for the rest of my life, I'll take these heart pills and, and uh, have that looming over my shoulder. Oh, boy, does he know how to spin a good yard. I mean, he almost had me convinced that he was suffering. But, of course, narcissists like him often know how to tell a good story to make it th seem like that they are so bad off, that they are so suffering, that they're so bad off. He may not have convinced me, but he probably convinced some of his fans to try to donate to him for his cause, to donate to his canteen at least so he could eat pretty well while he's in prison. <laughs> what were you going to ask you, Patrick? Um, damn, there's so many things I was going to ask you to see if you, did you tell him about, uh, oh, I know what I was going to ask you. Did you tell him about the, uh, the appeal status that your, your lawyer has filed the appeal that, did you yeah, tell the appeal, the appeal was filed in February, um, and, it, and it's going to, it's going to take a minute, you know, <laughs> guys, if you're wondering. Eight, eight, eight to 12 months to hear back on the court of appeals. Eight to twelve months. It's a, it's a very slow process. <clears throat> but again, the judge completely ignored the law, and so we expect that the appeal will be will be granted, and that will get him to trial. Oh, and, uh, oh, and another thing. So, if you if your appeal is granted, for everyone who is wondering, if his appeal is granted, the trial will start from zero, and he will be given a bond to uh bond out so it'll be like he was you know the trial's starting over so if he's granted it the all appeal it all resets to zero they reinstate my bond or set a new bond yeah on how long it's been and uh i have to go hire a new lawyer and you know yes it all starts from scratch and and he will be out released on bond i should be out on bond yes um and, and if that fails, well, the next step is a writ of habeas corpus. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky. I have a very competent and well thought of appeals lawyer. And, uh, you know, while they can never guarantee you anything, you know, we are competent and uh, pretty certain that the appeal will be granted. Um, and like I said, in the meantime, I'm just making the most of it. And uh, educating people about their rights, <coughs> which is uh, a sorely needed thing in here. And so, you know, if, I know I have a lot of. Left. Okay, we got one minute left. That's going to be it, Patrick. We got one minute left, guys. Yeah, so we'll do this again. We'll do this again. I mean, there's a lot more to say. Hey, yeah. one more, one more question before you go. Um, does 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 your girlfriend uh, does she still have access to your uh, your cash app or your PayPal? Does who what? Does, does your does your does your wife yes, or your girlfriend? Yes, not, yes, yes. 
Okay, so uh, if I if, if okay, your friend. If I put in your friend's uh, PayPal, do you want me to use uh, hers or do you want me to use yours for people who want to help you? No, no. Send everything to Justin, Justin William, and he will coordinate. You know, if you want to order magazines or books for me, you'll coordinate all that. Okay, so send you everything to Justin William. Justin's PayPal or Cash App? Yes, just mark it for David. Okay. All right, guys. So for for anyone who Thank wants you to, using all right. Bye see bye. you later, David. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. All right. So for anyone who wants to uh, support David or or send him a little money for commissary or or help out with the appeal, the appeal I believe was like fifty or seventy thousand. I'm not sure. Fifty to seventy thousand dollars for the appeal. Yeah. Good luck trying to get a hold of that much money because it's gonna be quite difficult to get that much money given the reputation of the man you're trying to get it for. Um, you know, he's going through a hard time right now, and I'd like to see him get all the help that he can. I will uh, link, I guess, Justin Pulliam's PayPal and Justin Pulliam's Cash App, either or, whatever one you use. Uh, but that's it, guys. I wanted to go live and give you a little update. Uh, David wanted to give you a little update on his situation. So if you do want to help David out, the information to donate will be in the description Hello. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see y'all later. Yeah, Patty Cakes, I don't think that you're going to get anywhere near the amount that you need for that appeal. Fifty to 70000 Uh, No. Like I said, given the reputation of uh, Earl David Warden, uh, no, it's not exactly going to happen if it, given his reputation and the circumstances of his uh, trial. And he could blame everybody he wants for it, uh, but the fact is he's been convicted of it, and it's a high likelihood that he is going to uh, die an old man in prison. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.